Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com, the fifth week of January, 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actress Lisa Loring died January 28, 2023, at a hospital in Burbank, California. She died of a stroke at the age of 64. She played Wednesday Addams, the sweet but morbid young daughter in the 1960s TV series The Addams Family. Loring is being remembered as the first to play Wednesday, helping to create a pop culture icon who is still relevant today. Actress Cindy Williams died January 25, 2023, in Los Angeles. She died after a brief illness at the age of 75. She starred as Shirley Feeney in the beloved 1970s sitcom Laverne and Shirley. Audiences loved her friendship with Penny Marshall's Laverne and their hilarious slapstick comedy. Williams is also being remembered for movies including American Graffiti and The Conversation. Musician Floyd Sneed died January 27, 2023, at the age of 80. He was the drummer for Three Dog Night, playing on 60s and 70s hits including One, Black and White, and Mama Told Me Not to Come. Sneed is also being remembered for his bass backing vocals on the number one hit Joy to the World. Musician Dean Daughtry died January 26, 2023, in Huntsville, Alabama. He died of natural causes at the age of 76. He was a founding member and the keyboardist for the Southern rock band Atlanta Rhythm Section. Daughtry is being remembered for co-writing the band's hit song, So Into You, An Imaginary Lover. Sportscaster Billy Packer died January 26, 2023, in Charlotte, North Carolina. He died of kidney failure at the age of 82. He was a longtime college basketball broadcaster, covering decades of the NCAA tournament. Packer is being remembered as the voice of the Final Four from the 1970s through the 2000s. World War II veteran Harold Brown died January 12, 2023, in Port Clinton, Ohio, at the age of 98. He was a Tuskegee Airman who had a longtime dream of flying and joined the military as soon as he graduated high school in 1942. He is being remembered for surviving an angry mob and being held as a prisoner of war after his plane was downed in Austria. Brown remained in the U.S. Air Force for more than two decades, flying missions in the Korean War before retiring in 1965 as a lieutenant colonel. Hockey player Bobby Hall died January 30, 2023, at his home in Wheaton, Illinois, at the age of 84. He was a star of the Chicago Blackhawks in the 1950s through 70s, becoming the first player to score more than 50 goals. Hall is being remembered as the Golden Jet and a Hockey Hall of Famer. Musician Tom Verlaine died January 28, 2023 in New York City. He died after a brief illness at the age of 73. He was a singer, songwriter, and guitarist who led the legendary punk band Television. Verlaine is being remembered for influencing many other artists, including R.E.M., U2, and Sonic Youth. Singer and songwriter Barrett Strong died January 29, 2023, at his home in La Jolla, California, at the age of 81. He recorded the first hit for Motown Records in 1960, Money, That's What I Want, which was later covered by the Beatles. Strong is being remembered for co-writing many other hits for Motown artists, including I Heard It Through the Grapevine, Papa Was a Rolling Stone, and Just My Imagination Running Away With Me.
businessman Ira Bob Bourne died January 29, 2023, at the age of 98. The longtime president of the Just Born Candy Company, which manufactures marshmallow peeps, he was called the father of peeps for inventing a way to mass produce the popular candy and make it available nationwide. He is also being remembered for inventing the spicy cinnamon candy hot tamales. Bourne was a U.S. Navy veteran of World War II. Screenwriter Gregory Allen Howard died January 27, 2023, in Miami. He died of heart failure at the age of 70. He wrote the screenplay for the award-winning sports drama Remember the Titans. Howard is also being remembered for his screenplays for the movies Ali and Harriet. Former U.S. Senator David Durenberger died January 31, 2023, at his home in St. Paul, Minnesota. He died of heart failure at the age of 88. A Republican from Minnesota, he served in the Senate for 16 years in the 1970s through 1990s. Amid an ethics scandal over misused funds, he was censured by the Senate in 1990. He is being remembered for his support of environmental protections and his sponsorship of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Durenberger was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the 1950s in the Counterintelligence Corps, then spent six years in the Army Reserve. John Adams died January 30, 2023, in Cleveland. He died after suffering several health issues at the age of 71. He was a superfan of the Cleveland Indians, later renamed the Cleveland Guardians, known for drumming on his bass drum as the players took the field and during exciting moments during the game. Adams is being remembered as a beloved Cleveland institution, memorialized in the team's Hall of Fame. Actress Annie Wershing died January 29, 2023, in Los Angeles. She died of cancer at the age of 45. She was known for a wide variety of TV performances, including a starring role as Renee Walker on 24 and a recent turn as the Borg Queen on Star Trek Picard. Wershing is also being remembered for roles on TV shows such as Runaways, The Rookie, Timeless, and The Vampire Diaries. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of former state delegate Jimmy Massey III. Flags in Massachusetts have been lowered to honor the memory of former Representative Alice K. Wolf. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of tribal elder and former chairman of the Okanichi Band of the Saponi Nation, John Blackfeather Jeffries. Flags in South Dakota have been lowered to honor the memory of former state representative and state court judge John Jones. Flags in Pennsylvania have been lowered to honor the memory of Emergicare EMT Michael Harrington, who died in the line of duty. Flags in California have been lowered to honor the memory of Selma police officer Gonzalo Carrasco Jr., who died in the line of duty. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Twenty years ago this week, the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia died in an accident during re-entry. Their names were Michael P. Anderson, David M. Brown, Kalpana Chawla, Laurel Clark, Rick Husband, William C. McCool, and Elan Ramon. Thirty-five years ago this week, actress Heather O'Rourke died at the age of twelve. She was the rising young star of the classic horror movie Poltergeist and its two sequels. Seventy-five years ago this week, civil rights leader Mahatma Gandhi died at the age of 78. 
He used nonviolent resistance as he led the struggle to secure India's independence from the British Empire. 75 years ago this week, aviation pioneer Orville Wright died at the age of 76. He and his brother invented the first successful motorized airplane. Musician Rick James was born 75 years ago this week. He died in 2004 at the age of 56. He was known for funk classics including Super Freak. Actor Sherman Hemsley was born 85 years ago this week. He died in 2012 at the age of 74. He starred in the TV sitcoms The Jeffersons and Amen. There are many more celebrity anniversaries this week, and we pay tribute to them in a video titled The Week the Music Died, part of our new Tuesday video series. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.